So let's look at the following example that deals with relativistic kinetic energy. So in a certain lab, a particle accelerator can do 2 times 10 to the 12 electron volt of work on a proton to accelerate that proton. Now if all that work is transformed into kinetic energy of that proton, we want to find the velocity of this proton assuming that the mass of the proton is 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. So, Let's begin by recalling the relativistic kinetic energy of our particle. So that is given by this equation. So the total energy of the proton, mc squared divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared divided by z squared, is equal to the sum of the kinetic energy of the proton given in joules and the rest mass energy of the proton, mc squared. So, we know what the mass is, we know what the c is, that's the speed of light in a vacuum, and we know what k is, that's the kinetic energy of that proton. So, all we have to do to find the velocity is to solve for this velocity term found in the denominator on the left side of our equation. So, Let's begin by multiplying both sides by the square root of 1 minus v squared divided by c squared and dividing both sides by k plus mc squared to get the following result. Next, we take the square of the left and right sides to get rid of this radical. And we get 1 minus v squared divided by c squared is equal to the square of mc squared divided by k plus mc squared. So next, let's multiply both sides by negative 1 and then add 1 to each one of these sides to get the following result. Remember, we're solving for the velocity. We want to bring the velocity on one side and everything else to the other side. So, v squared divided by c squared is equal to 1 minus the square of mc squared divided by k plus mc squared. Finally, we multiply both sides by c squared and we take the square root of both sides so that we have velocity on the left side and everything else on the right side. So, the velocity of our proton is equal to the square root of c squared multiplied by the square of 1 minus mc squared divided by k plus mc squared. So now, we're basically ready to plug in our values. So c is simply the speed of light in a vacuum, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. The mass of the proton is 1.67 times 10 to negative 27 kilograms, and that appears at two locations, here and here. So once again, we plug in our c's. Now, what about the k? Well, the k is the kinetic energy of that proton, and that is given in electron volts. But we must first convert that to joules. So remember, 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 joules are found in 1 electron volt. So that means we take 2 times 10 to the 12 electron volts and we multiply that by 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 joules per electron volts. The electron volts will cancel and we're left with joules. So, we multiply this, divide by this, we take the square of that, and then we subtract 1 and this quantity, and then we multiply that by the square of our speed of light in a vacuum, and finally, we take the square root of that entire quantity, and we see that the velocity of our proton is 299,999,969.7 meters per second. So, we are able to accelerate that proton to a velocity that is very close to the velocity of light in a vacuum.